welcome back. This is a special short video about a long trip I took today. I've had my two grandchildren from my oldest daughter staying with me for a week. And today I took my grandson home. And so I thought I'd take the opportunity to share with you my driving experience as well as my charging experience. So we'll start with how I started. I had a roughly 100% charge when I started, did that purposefully. And when I started, my car told me I had a whole lot of range that I knew I didn't have. But on the route navigation, it gave me a really good, accurate 42% charge at the end of the drive. And so I started off. The drive there was great. It's roughly 190 miles to get to my daughter's house. And when I got there, I had 45% left. And so I dropped off my grandson, had a nice talk with my daughter, went to Statesville, about 30 miles to the east of there. I pulled up, waited no more than 10 minutes, probably closer to five. Somebody pulled out. I pulled into a 350 kilowatt charger, plugged in. And as always, I simply plugged the car in. Within a minute, it had communicated with the charger and charging just started. And I got to roughly 160 kilowatts charging, which is actually pretty good considering I was at a roughly a 40% charge when I started. And I could have stopped at 15 minutes, but I decided to stay just a couple extra minutes longer, just over 20 minutes. And I got all the way up over 80%. And that was great because now that I'm going home, I'm going to have over 30% charge left when I get back home at the conclusion of the drive. And so I just wanted to share with you, these cars are still made for long distance driving. I'm going to have roughly a, a just short of a 400 mile day, and I only had to stop once. So I wanted to share with you some good news for the day. And that's it. We'll talk to you again soon. It's starting to rain on me, so I got to quit. Make it a great day.